Hey, babies. What's up, my darling MVPs, and how you all doing? Welcome back to Sail with Mimi Shostly Mimi, where you get the gist. I see they do waiting. I see the heart. Of course, you know there is no sleeping on a bicycle on those channels. If you snooze, you do all. You lose. Are you yet to subscribe to this channel? Or are you still sitting on a fat, long thing? If so, kindly pause right there. Subscribe. And make sure you turn on the notification bell. If not, tell me. How do you want to get the gist brewing from the cooking pots? Like, how do you want to get the gist? I see the hot guys. <laughs> Chinwe. Hey, wahala. If you just finished watching the video of um Chinwe's diary session with Zion, I was even lamenting on I don't want Chinwe to go this week, guys. She has actually, she's actually giving me more reason why she should not go this week because yo, she has actually stirred drama on the Soli ship. You guys know the Soli ship now, Soj and um Nelly. But we'll talk about that later. Calm down, take a chill pill, watch this video to the very end so you don't miss out on any gist at all. Before we tend to talk about that, let's see um the, your faves that are at the top charts this week uh, the other time i share the top charts right now this one is for this week let's see from one to ten number one honey one not honey one sitting pretty at number one then victoria at number two three handy for ruthie five um sean six anita seven kelly ray eight nelly nine Casia. And number 10, one and only Tofa. And why is Suj not here? Hmm. Anyways, I'm not surprised that Tofa is actually there because the Tonita ship, that is Anita and Tofa, has been trending more than the Suj and Nelly ship. Yes. So, guys, let's enter the gist. I see that heart. You know, there is no time to check time when it comes to gisting with Mimi Shiosly. Mimi. So, guys, <laughs> apropos to sweet me. <laughs> It is more interesting when I have this convo with you guys. Anyways, you guys are my real MVP. Guys. <clears throat> so, um, as you all know, the housemates have been having their diary session. And I have been posting each of the sessions back to back. Because the housemates had a lot to unfold. You know, people don't carry beef for chest. You know, all of that. They were just pouring it all out. And I've been dropping it as it hot. So, um, whilst the diary session was going on, right... The, the guys, like not just the guys, as in the housemates, some of the housemates, they actually have a round table. They were having normal conversations about the happenings in the house. So when the, before the Zinwe pair was called to the diary room, talking about the Zinwe pair, I already posted their diary sessions. In case you've not seen it, kindly go down there. It's actually sitting pretty on my channel. So guys, before the Zinwe pair were called to the diary room, they were having this round table conversation. We have Zinwe, that is um, Chingwe and Zion. We have the um, Mbadiwe twins there. We have Ben. We have uh, Kelly Ray and the wifey. We have Anita and um, Nelly. Most of the housemates were there, guys. Some of the housemates, not all, you know. So, and that was when even, I think when the camera ensued on them was when um, the checkers came out from the diary room. And the, with, when the camera ensued on them, the conversation they were having, I knew it was about the house because what I heard them saying was Ben was trying to be defensive because I think maybe they threw the question on Ben or to him that's about um, Chizoba and OC thingy. So he's trying to be defensive that he has never felt any type of way with those two before, but he's always trying to say, hope OC has not gone to tell Chizoba that, oh, this guy, they see you as a sister or something. Oh, what he's trying to say that hope OC has not gone behind him to go, you know, say some things about him to Chizoba just to get her out. And talking about Chizoba OC, guys, I hope you've noticed that Chizoba is always very close to OC. In fact, this morning, Chizoba went between the two brothers. They were lying very closely. She managed to fix herself up in the middle. I think I will use that picture as my thumbnail. You know, she managed to fix herself in like that in the middle. You know, it's giving sweets in the middle. <laughs> 
So guys, um, I noticed they were having that convo, but I never knew. When I saw them having that convo, I'm like, hmm, this is getting heated. I hope this conversation is not going to get to something else. Not only for um, the camera to ensued on the double K pair, they were having sweet conversation. I'll discuss about them later on on this video definitely at the end of this video the conversation the double k we're having yes so the camera was on them for a while we don't know that drama has been going on inside later on the camera now went back to what was it called to such and them tofa where they were talking about um um such was like have i ever made made her to second guess me have i ever made her to second guess me like that was what you know he was talking about and um, Tofa was like, I don't get to, you know, they were having that convo. Later on, the camera ensued on Nelly and Amanita. And Nelly was like, he could not even say no. He could not even call it off, you know, this one, that one, that one, this one, guys. <laughs> Until Big Brother now called the Nelita pair to the diary room. In fact, they were the last pair, pair to go to the diary room today. So when Big Brother called them to the diary room, and then to them is giving perfect timing. So when they got to the diary room, Big Brother asked as usual how, are, how they are doing. You know, they already have matter at hand. So they have to place that matter on Big Brother's table. <laughs> so according to them, Big Brother were fine no, until, you know, then they narrated everything. And the story was this way. They said um, they were sitting on the round table having conversation, you know, gisting about the house. And then Chinwe sincerely when they were having those combo i was thinking maybe it had to do with i was like hey, onyeka i hope it's not onyeka you know so the next thing they said chingwe you know said something about a housemate who is here with them that has actually moved to her even after knowing full well that she came into this house with her boyfriend you know this guy moved to me moved to ruthie moved to victoria and this guy is also has also moved to one other lady like that you know and then Victoria said she even guessed and was like, is it mayor? She said, no. Someone, another person guessed Sean or something. I'll be another guy. She said, no. And then someone I said, is it Suj? She now smiled over it. She said, hmm, hmm. you know that kind of smile. You did not answer yes or no. But that, that sign already showed that something is really, really going on. You know? So um, Nelly was like, I was so surprised to like she did not say yes or no but if she could say no to other people that I mentioned that people suggested you know why did she not say no to Suj and then according to Nelly the reactions from the housemates was given they already know this gist it's not given a new thingy it's given they already know this gist because they did not react in a way that is actually you know so kind of you know like how who you know how everybody would want to know who that person is that the other housemates did not even react that way that even ben's reaction was given he knows whom the person is you know so according to nelly she took anita tofa and suj outside you know took them apart to go have conversation with them and then she asked suj was there any time you said a thing like this to chinwe and Suj said yes. <laughs> Suj said yes. I told her. <laughs> Guys, yo. So Suj said yes. That I told her that um, I would have wanted to have a thing with her. But just that she came with her man. But it was just a joke. According to what Nelly said. To, um, Suj said. That it was just a joke. I said that to her. Because she was trying to find out which of the lady I like in the house. So I'm just trying. I don't. I'm trying to like not make her know whom or something like that i had to tell her it's her but she's already in a ship and then victoria also asked about that of ruthie and then Suj said he has never had anything any conversation of sorts with ruthie and then victoria i'm um, sorry nelly asked of that of victoria and then nelly said the 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 reply he gave for victoria was not really given at all like he was not even given he was like at this point no ways that he has she has told suj to go his way that she's go your way let me go my way if you see me this way go this way <laughs> you understand so that she told him to just stay apart because yo now big brother now asks is he making you feel like he settled for you you guys know that feelings ruti was having about mayor you know 
after going to Anit, I'm um, sorry, Nelly coming back to her, she was feeling like the second option. That was how Nelly was feeling. And then she said, Yes, Biggie, I felt like she he just came to settle with me, you know. And then big brother told Anita, Anita, look at your 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 pair. Does she look like somebody that one would settle for? And then Anita said, No ways. And also um Nelly affirmed and be like, Biggie, no. And then Biggie now said, Does she look like someone would climb whom somebody would climb mountain for? And then they said yes. That was how Biggie tried to uplift it. But at this point, Biggie asked them about how they won twice, you know, and also they were at this and then Nelly was like, I think I'm even regretting the guess, guess that we choose about it. And Anita told her to calm down over it. That is not that deep yet. They need to have conversation, a proper conversation about that, you know. Talking about the people they chose as a guest, it's not giving like, why is it that now that they have private moments every AK market day, like every time there is a problem. They don't want to give shippers the all moments. Last night it was Nelly and Suj again, Nelly and Suj again, waiting they sub. You people should give shippers all moments. That's what they've been waiting for. And I think the guys too, that's what they've been wanting. That's why they want to have special time with you guys together. So guys, Chinwe said it that. Um, Suj has been coming for her that she's going to get back to Suj. Is this Chingwe's way of getting back to Suj? Because right now, Chingwe did not have to speak too much. Now she has scattered, like she has caused drama on the Soli ship right now. To me, it is giving payback time from Chingwe's end because she said it that you see, Suj, he has been poking me, but I will make him, you know, something like that. And another thing is, guys, do you also think these guys are playing game with this ship thingy? Because, of course, me, I think so. You know, me and Chip, I would only accept when it's actually something. So, to me, with the ma game, the game play, these housemates came with, they came in to play this game, you know. But I think the ladies are the one even falling a bit right now than the guys. I don't know, but what have you guys observed? You know, the Shippers Association, what do you think about this? Do you also think, Ch to me, I think Chinwe is, try is trying to stir up drama. She knows what she was trying to do. And Nelly said, oh, Biggie, you know, I've been trying to say, I don't know what um I did to Chinwe, that all of a sudden we don't even talk to each other anymore. We became like her enemies. But she never knew there is a subtle reason some of those peeps do not like her behind the scene, you know. And she never knew Chinwe and herself do not go well because of Suj. But I don't think that's the reason. If Chinwe is not okay with Nelly because of Suj, does she want to leave Zion? Anyways, guys, we'll talk more on that matter later. Let's see how they settle everything up. So, guys, the double K pair were having some all moments um at the, at the, at the garden. I say dining. At the garden, guys. You know, um, these are the moments we barely see about them. The guy said, I missed my wife. I just really hope this turned out well so that I would actually take you out on a trip. You know, take you to places we've never been to before. You know, I'll bring you out on stage so that they would see how small you are. I'm very sure the camera is making you look big. You know, he was just trying to make some convo with the wifey, you know. And then this was how the wife was all smiles and, you know, looking all cute. I'm like, oh, I already saw the double K ship as doing, oh, oh, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, double K is just trying to imagine how it would feel maybe probably if they win this show and go have fun on a vacation together they started talking about family matters anyways before we got to the suj nelly brohaha guys i'm gonna be dropping my voice right here and now to see you guys later thank you so so much for always sailing with me bye for now babies